Hello IED, we are going to be working again on the pen here. I've got what I call the ink cartridge holder here where the four tubes of ink kind of hold down into it. It's a pretty small little black plastic piece. Uh, when you look at it, one of the things I notice, it looks like it's got mainly a circular front. There are a few notches that are cut out of it that extend all the way down to the sides. And of course we got four holes in there. So we're going to talk about how to make this. Um, I'll tell you the basic strategy that I did was I made first the shape. I made the circle, which has a diameter of 0.542, and then I drew a square inside of it. And that square I used, then I extended the sides to create these little notched areas that are going to get cut out. And that square had sides of 0.331. So I'm going to try to go and create that. Uh, I got to remember the dimensions. 542 was the circle. Okay, so let's make a sketch on here. And I'm going to always start it on the origin. So we're going to have a circle that has a diameter of 0.542. And I'll zoom in on it. And to get the square in the center, I'm going to use a center point rectangle. And I'm just going to draw this roughly to shape. And I'm going to put the three sides, I'm sorry, the, the two sides are 0.331 each. That's going to force me to have a square centered inside of that circle. And what I really want is I want these sides to just extend outwards uh, a little bit here. And I think I can just use the line tool here. I'm just going to make sure I drag down through each side. And we'll just get these in here pretty quick. I'm going to grab on a line and come out so it has a little tracing feature. And we'll get this guy. And this last one. Okay. All right. So that's going to allow me to extrude this. Now the, the thickness of this is going to be, if I look at my drawing that I created here, the thickness is 0.3 inches. So we'll go back and we'll extrude this 0.3 inches. Um, when we do extrude it now, I'm just going to make sure that when I grab the areas, I'm not going to grab those little corner pieces because that will then create all those notches that we want. And I'm going to tell that 0.3 inches. A basic shape. So we have that basic shape there. Uh, I will go ahead now. All that's left to do really is to shell it and then to put those holes in place. The shell thickness that I measured on the part was 0 0.035 inches. So I'll go do the shell of that. We are going to, here's a shell tool. I'm going to shell on the bottom side and I'm going to tell it 0 0.035. So that creates the shaping to it. We'll do that. And now for the circles themselves, um, this I had to measure kind of carefully. I'm going to look at this sketch and look straight down at it. Um, what I found, I measured uh, from the center of the overall shape to the center point of one of the circles was 0.139 inches. I'm going to place a point right there. And then the diameter of the circles, the holes themselves, is 0.128. So I'm 0.139 away from the center, and the diameter is 0.128. So I'm going to put a sketch directly on the top of this, and I'm going to look straight at it so that I can then place a point from that origin. I'm coming straight up. Got a point in position there, and then I'm just going to make sure it is in the right position. And I think I said 0.139. And so I have a point in position. Actually, I want to be back in that sketch. Now I want to put a circle to create the hole. That circle had a size of 0.128. And finish it. I'm going to go ahead and just turn these planes off so we don't see all of that. Okay, let's cut the hole. So I'm going to go to that. I am going to say remove. I'm going to tell it to remove through the whole thing. 
and I now have a single hole, but I need four of them and they're symmetrically placed. So I'm just going to use the pattern tool to get all four holes. The pattern tool is right here, but we need a circular pattern. And what I want to pattern is one of the features. So I need to tell it up here that I'm patterning a feature. And what I want to pattern is this hole. I can either click it right here or I can get the extrusion right there. The axis of the pattern, I'm just going to click on this circle and I am going all the way around the circle and it filled in automatically. I want four. That looks great. And that's the part. So the final things I need to do is I'm going to give it a material. And I think we're doing polypropylene plastic. So we'll get that. There's polypropylene. And I'm going to also give it a dark color to it. Um, that looks pretty good. And there's my part. Good luck making yours.